hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you how to use uh, the on load event inside your javascript with the uh, full three examples i will be showing you all the three ways by which you can use the on load event inside your vanilla javascript i will not be using jquery any sort of third party library it is completely vanilla javascript and uh, basically on load event inside your javascript is nothing but whenever your html page is loaded in the dom which is document object model so basically on load event there is there are various events out there in javascript if you just look at a list of events in javascript you will get to know there is a great website called as w3schools.com there is on click on mouse hover so there are various events out there whenever you perform something on the web page let me click a button here let me click this hyperlink this is kind of an event we are performing some action on this web page so similarly whenever you open any sort of website let's suppose i go to google so this website loads so there is there is a on load event out there so when whenever all the elements are loaded then this event trigger so we will be looking at this example inside this live stream on how to handle this on load event inside your javascript so we will be tackling all the three methods i will be showing you the very basic way by which you can attach this event is by using its attribute so attributes are declared in javascript by simply attaching it in the element itself so let's suppose i want to attach it this attribute so this will be attached in the body element itself we will just write on load so you can see we have various events out there we can attach these attributes but we will be tackling on load today so here this takes the function name that you want to execute whenever this uh, event trigger whenever the web page has opened in the browser so we can simply say here in it so now we need to make this function inside our javascript so we can just declare the script tag and here we can just uh, declare the definition of this function just uh, update what this function do so basically inside this let me declare a alert message that uh, hello world all elements are loaded something this kind of message now if i open this web page now basically you will now see this alert box saying that hello world all elements are loaded so basically the use of on load is typically for these scenarios whenever you are uh, opening the web page you want to update something you need to initialize something you need to store your api keys so all this configuration goes inside this on load event handler so you can make your separate function like this just attach it using the attribute which is on load and then give your function name you can also write this function here itself if you don't want to you can just declare alert statement or uh, like like this hi well, hello that's it so you don't need the external function you can just write the body of the function here itself you can just write the javascript here itself if i say here you can see hi hello you can see there are two ways either you can declare a separate function for this or you can write the javascript here inside the attribute itself so it doesn't make any sort of difference so it totally depends upon your taste how you need to write your code if it is a very simple function then you can write here inside the element itself if it contains a lot of code configuration code then you need to write a separate function so this is the first method now i will be showing you the second method by which you can declare this so for this we don't need the attribute mind you guys i have written all the source code of the examples that i am showing you in this video so if you want to get all the source code you can go to my blog post so this is a blog post i have written all the three methods i have given alongside with their source code so it is given uh, in the description of this video please hit the like button also if you like this live stream and also comment how you like this content how you like this video so coming back to the second method guys it is very simple 
you don't need the attribute instead we will just write the javascript part here inside your script tag so here what we will do is that we will attach it to our body so what we will do is that we will say document dot body and then dot so here you see various events are there on blur on click so inside this we are talking about on load so here we can write the function as it is you can see that alert this is the second way so now if you open this uh, you will now see this is the second way alert message is opening here so this is the second way by which you can do this document dot body dot on load and then followed by your function definition you can even make this function even more smaller by using uh, arrow function which is like this this is the e5 latest syntax so many developers use it so this is the latest javascript syntax so this is called as arrow function so here you need not have to write the function part and now if you refresh it you will see the same result here you can see that so this is the second way by by which you don't need to declare the attribute you can just write your javascript part here document.body.onload followed by your function definition so this is the second approach now coming back to the third approach guys this is very simple which is window dot add event listener and here you need to provide the event that you need to put so we will need to put on load so we will say here load so here this is a callback function so here you can declare your alert statement hi hello world so this is the third way by which you can declare the on load you can see that hi hello world is printing out once again so this is pretty simple we are attaching it to the window not body so the, this third method it it is attaching to the whole window whole web page so that's why we need to write here window dot add event listener and we are attaching the load event so that's why you can see that alert hi hello world so these are the four way, uh, three ways by which you can do this guys uh, one more thing you can attach it like this you can write the function name and then you can write the function definition like this so this can also work so this makes the code letter more cl cleaner because you have written the function name so whenever third person is uh, seeing your code it makes it little bit more easier to read your code so it is good for readability purposes so so these are the three ways by which you can tackle the on load event guys inside your javascript i have shown you all the three events with complete examples I have written all the source code in the video description. If you want to copy paste it, you can go to the video description link and copy paste all the source code. And please hit the like button. Also comment on this video how you like it and how you want my future videos to be. So thanks so much for watching this video.